Okay, so where do you start with Marie Mullen? When I was in college, I did one one-act play, and we did three performances, which she'd seen the night before, and uh, she she just came up to me in the street and said, uh, "Do you want to do an, do an audition for Druid?" Uh, and I said, "Yeah," and then we got married. <laughs> I first met Marie when we were doing Playboy the Western World and we had two weeks to rehearse it and uh, she had a way of looking after people and uh, I think the most remarkable thing I remember uh, discovering about Marie at that time was um, even though she would played the role before it was, it was completely new to her and um, it was like new material. Seen Marie on stage so many times, but we probably, you know, we worked together uh, most closely uh, during my tenure in the festival. She took on the, the one woman show, Testament, Colin Tobin's uh, play about the, the story of, of the Virgin Mary and uh, the, the testimony from her point of view. Both one of the things that marks Marie out is her courage. Um, you know, she her, her the ability to take on those parts and to deliver such fine performances, I think, is one of the things that marks her out as one of the finest actresses of her generation. As a co-founder of Druid Theatre Company, um, she's right there at sort of year zero of um, one of the most significant uh, companies to come out of the country, and a company that for a long time, and today especially, would be regarded as, I think, you know, the, the undisputed powerhouse of um, professional Irish theatre. In the early days of Druid, we had no sort of reference points for what it was to be a great actor, or professional actor, or anything like that. But in Marie, um, she was the fully formed article from the very beginning. We had an example of, you know, this is, this is what's possible. I first saw her on stage over 30 years ago, in 1982, in a Druid production of The Playboy of the Western World. And 30 years later, I can still remember the blazing intensity of her performance on stage that night. I think she brings an incredible truth a lack of any unnecessary embellishment. And the fact that she's sort of, and has been all her career, has been sort of ageless, means that she has a, a sort of chameleon quality, which combined with the extraordinary power that she has, means that she can take on any part and make it almost uniquely her own. You know, she has played and defined all of the big parts for Irish women, and she has set, uh, she has set the watermark that other young actresses now will, will have to strive for, be it in the work of Singh um, or, or Tom Murphy or John B. Keane. You know, she, has, she has, in many ways, given the definitive production of so many of those great parts. She's as important within ensemble work um, as she is within sort of those, um, those kind of well-remembered um, title roles. Um, and I don't think that, um, I don't think sort of a great performance by Mary Mullen has ever come at the expense of a production. She is a team player. There's a vibrancy that comes off Marie, um, both you know, on stage and off stage. Um, there's, there's something that emanates uh, from her, and I think that's what audiences feel. Wherever you go all over the world, um, you can see she has an influence, she leaves a mark. I mean, she, she, she did a play on Broadway for a year, and she didn't see New York. Doing eight shows a week, I mean, from the moment she gets up in the morning to the end of the day, it's, you know, if there's a show on that night, that's where the whole focus of the day goes. The other thing I suppose that needs to be said is um, that the great partnership that she has been part of would be Marie's work with Gary Hines. You know, they, uh, the, the work that they have done together is some of the most important work that has ever been achieved in the history of Irish theatre. And what's so exciting, of course, is that partnership continues and that we all look forward uh, to the great parts that Marie will play in the future and the great parts that she will play, hopefully directed by Gary Hines. Acting with her is just easy because it's not acting, it's just reacting. She changes the chemistry inside you and she changes the temperature of a room. So all you have to do is really uh, look and listen and open your mouth and let the words come out. It's the best thing you could ever want from another actor. Marie's had extraordinary success in her career wherever she's played. But at the end of the day, she's made a fantastic commitment to living and working in the theatre in Ireland. And we are all the richer for that. 
you're a hero to me and to many, many other people. Um, I love you to bits and I'm so delighted and thrilled that you're getting this. I can't think of anybody else who deserves it more than you do. I hope you have a wonderful evening with your family and your friends and your theatrical family. And know that we love you and admire you and cherish you and are grateful for your immense talent and wish you a long and happy life full of many more amazing performances over the next 30 years. Marie isn't a huge fan of uh, receiving praise. Uh, she just likes to do her work and get on. But I'm, I'm sure there's a, there, maybe there's a little part of her that might be happy that the rest of the world gets a chance to put on the record how much we love her um, as a person and as an artist. So, Marie, we love you.